network license activation. In this chapter, we will go through network license manager installation, network license online activation, network license offline activation, LM tools, return network license online, return network license offline, and FlexNet license status. Network License Manager Installation To install Network License Manager, double-click the installation application. You can select your preferred language on top right corner. You can specify a location to install Network License Manager and read through the end-user license agreement and check the box for read and accept. Then click Install Now to start installation. After successfully installed it, you can find Network License Manager through Start Menu. Look for CWSoft Network License Manager folder. You can find tools in this folder. Online Activation Network License To activate your network license, find Network License Manager through Start Menu. Click Activate License in Network License Manager and choose Online Activation. Enter your activation ID, then enter the number of nodes you want to activate in license quantity. If you have 10 nodes in your network license, you can enter 10 to activate all nodes or enter a number that is less than 10. For example, enter 2 to activate only 2 nodes. Click Activate to activate your network license. You can then check your license through Network License Manager. Offline Activation Network License You can use offline activation to activate your network license in case your server or computer doesn't have access to the Internet. Find Network License Manager through Start Menu on your server. Click Activate License and choose Offline Activation. Enter your activation ID. Then enter the number of nodes you want to activate in license quantity. If you have 10 nodes in your network license, you can enter 10 to activate all nodes or enter a number that is less than 10, for example 2, to activate only 2 nodes. Click Generate to generate the SML file and save it to a USB thumb drive. Copy the link in step 2. And in your USB thumb drive, create a new test document. Paste the link into this document. Open the browser on your computer and find and copy the link from your USB thumb drive. Go to the link, then choose with Activation ID for login on the left. Copy the Activation ID from the SML file on your USB thumb drive, then login. Select Manage Entitlements in License Portal. Then find Manual Activation. Click Browse to upload the SML file generated from your server. Then click Submit. Click Save to File on the next screen to download the response file. Move the response file to your USB thumb drive so you can move it to the server. Go back to the server. In Step 3, Click Browse to attach the response file downloaded from your computer. Then click Activate to activate your network license offline. LM Tools After activating your network license, you can set up your server with LM Tools. Find Network License Configuration through Start Menu to open LM Tools. Then search Service in Start Menu. Look for CWSoft Network License Manager. Then right-click the service 
and open properties. In Log On tab, select Local System Account, then click OK to finish. Then you can go back to LM Tools and go to Start Stop with Read tab and click Start Server. LM Tools will show Server Start Successful at the bottom when it is all set. You can go to Server Status to perform status check. This will show you the license, usage, as well as the server's status. You can also go to System Settings tab to check the IP address, which you will need for activating your ZWCAT with floating or borrow license. If you have removed your server or want to reconfigure it, your server, go to Configure Service in LN Tools. You can input a name in service name. Then click Browse to find the LMGRD file. Then click below Browse to find license file. After attaching both files, check the boxes for Use Services and Start Server at Power Up. Then you can save the service. Go to Service License File tab. Find the service you created and select Configuration using Services. Check the box below. Search Services in Start menu. Look for the service you just created. Then right click the service and open properties. In Log On tab, select Local System Account. Then click OK to finish. Then you can go back to LM Tools. In Start Start with Read tab, click Start Server. LM Tools will show Server Start Successful at the bottom when it is all set. You can go to Server Status to perform status check. You can also go to System Settings tab to check the IP address which you will need for activating your ZWCAT cat with floating or borrow license. Return Network License Online To return the network license on the server, firstly, you need to stop the service. Find the LM tools on your server. In Start Stop Repeat tab, Click Start Server. Wait until the prompt message changes from Start Server Request to Stopping Server. If you fail to stop the server, make sure no one is using the network license or all nodes have been returned. It. Then you can check the boss force server shutdown and try again. After you stop the server from NL Tools, Find Network License Manager through Start Menu on your server. The licenses on this machine will list here. Click Return. Choose Online Return and click Return on the bottom right. If your server is connected to the Internet, then you will get Return Complete as the end. Return Network License Offline you can use offline return to return your network license in case your server or computer doesn't have access to the internet. Firstly, you need to stop the service. Find the LM tools on your server. In Start Stop with Read tab, click Stop Server. Wait until the prompt message changes from Stop Server Request to Stopping Server. If you fail to stop the server, Make sure no one is using the network license or all nodes have been returned. It. Then you can check the boss, force server shutdown, and try it again. After you stop the server from LM Tools, find Network License Manager through Start Menu on your server. The licenses on this machine will list here. Click Return. Choose Offline Return. Click Generate to generate the XML file and save it to a USB thumb drive. Copy the link in step 2, and in your USB thumb drive, create a new test document. Paste the link into this test document. Open your browser on your computer and find and copy the link from your USB thumb drive. Go to the link, then choose with activation ID for login on the left. Enter your activation ID, then login. 
Select Manage Licenses in License Portal. Your license will list here. If you activated your nodes within your license separately, all the nodes will be displayed separately in the list. Select the one which corresponding to the XML file generated from the server. You can point your mouse on the fulfillment to check and see if the one matches the name of the XML file. Then choose Menu Return. Browse the XML file generated from the server. Click Submit. Then click Save to File on the next screen to download the response file. Move the response file to your USB thumb drive, so you can move it to the server. Go back to the server. In step 3, click Browse to attach the response file downloaded from your computer. Then click Return to return your network license offline. Flatnet license status. You can go to Flatnet to check license information. First, find your ZWCAT license manager through Start menu. Click Activate license, then select Offline activation. Open the link in step 2. Select with activation ID on the left to log in your license. Enter your license code in activation ID, then click login. In operations portal, select manage entitlements. Select the license you want to check. Click print to open the print view window. In this window, you can find activation ID. Who is this license sold to? This license associated product version. Number of copies under this license, as well as the license start date and expiration date, and the license model at the bottom to indicate whether it is a stock alone license or network license. If the license you want to check has already activated, choose Manage License in Operation Portal to find your license, then select the license you want to check. In this window, you can find license information for the license which has already activated.